guilty, Mum. I know the natural discomfort of teething should be solved by a natural remedy, like Brower Homeopathic Teething Drops. Since it's basically water, it's so mild, you can use it from birth up to nine times a day. Which means she'll be homeopathically cured by the time she actually starts teething in six months. And when I want a remedy with an active ingredient, I turn to Bongella. It's got choline salicylate, which is so active that in the UK, even Bongella have warned children under 16 years of age not to use it. But don't worry, that warning's just for British children. And it can't be that bad. The Medical Journal of Australia says there's little evidence that relieves teething discomfort anyway. Teething toys are anything but child's play, which is why I demand German medical grade silicon from Mayapple, Siri of friends. Sure, they're four times more expensive than a regular teething toy, but you have to pay extra for delicious translucence. That's what babies want. Unless, of course, they want the pigeon teething trainer. It promotes natural jaw development, which wouldn't happen naturally. And as a guilty mum, I'm not taking any chances that my baby won't develop a jaw. It even encourages baby to close her lips. See? It's a miracle! I don't have to sacrifice style during my baby's teething days. Not with this $230 sterling silver teething necklace from Mama's Jewels. No, 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 use the teething necklace I bought you. That's better. But there really is no substitute for the wisdom of experts like Miranda and Giselle, which is why I use these amber teething beads. Amber's powers were discovered by the ancient Greeks well before scientific testing. I just can't take my eyes off my baby when she's wearing amber, which is good, because they say that I shouldn't. Even the A-triple-C's talking about amber. Well, if it's a choking hazard good enough for Miranda Kerr, it's good enough for me.